guy solo is going to wear a hole in his shoes. Hey, I'm going to move you. Here we go. Yeah, I like this. Gentlemen, Goldfinger, why weren't we told that New York and the West Coast were in on this? Look who's talking. I do not do business with Chicago. I thought we had a private business deal to settle. Now I find I'm attending a Hoods convention. Goldfinger, I made a delivery. Where is my money? I made a delivery, too. You all made the deliveries we contracted for. And you owe me one million bucks. I owe each of you a million. In gold bullion. So pay. Gentlemen, you can have the million today. Or ten millions tomorrow. Did you say ten million? As soon as my bank opens, in the morning. Banks don't open on Sunday. My bank will. Ha-ha! <laughs> What's with that trick pool tape? Come in. Hey, cover those doors. Turn those lights back on. What are you trying to pull, Goldfinger? There is no cause for alarm, gentlemen. Yeah, I don't like being cooped up like this. What's that map doing there? This is my bank. The gold depository at Fort Knox, gentlemen. In its vaults are $15 billion. The entire gold supply of the United States. Knock off Fort Knox. <laughs> <laughs> Got a key or something? Of a kind. There are 35,000 troops stationed around there. 41,000. And who's gonna say boo to them, Goldfinger? Hey, what's going on here? What is it? Hey. On the floor, my right thing! has climbed Mount Everest, gone to the bottom of the ocean. He has fired rockets at the moon, split the atom, achieved miracles in every field of human endeavor, except crime.
You're wasting my time, Goldfinger. The depositories are pregnable. Look, the joint is bombproof, electrified, lousy with machines. Bear with me, Tea please. Games. Fort Knox is a bank, like any other. Larger, better protected, perhaps, but nonetheless, a bank. It can be. I think the expression is blown. My plan is foolproof, gentlemen. I call it Operation Grand Slam. I have devoted 15 years of my life to it. Every detail has been scrupulously prepared. Every eventuality has been considered. We will operate on a split-second schedule. Your organization, Mr. Midnight, brought a consignment of these canisters across the Canadian border. They contain Delta 9. Delta 9? What's that? that? An invisible nerve gas, which disperses 15 minutes after inducing complete unconsciousness for 24 hours. Tomorrow at dawn, the flying circus of my personal pilot, Miss Pussy Galore, will spray it into the atmosphere. Once the population, including the military, has been immobilized, my task force, which Mr. Strap and his people smuggled across the Rio Grande from Mexico, will approach Fort Knox in motorized equipment along Bullion Boulevard, which runs past the depository here, and intersects with Gold Vault Road. This fence surrounding the depository, as Mr. Strap reminded us, is electrified. It will be dynamited. My task force will then move to the main entrance and demolish it. How, may I ask? You made that possible, Mr. Solo, by arranging through your considerable influence in shipping circles to bring through customs uninspected a consignment labeled machine parts. All that will then remain is to descend to the vaults, where the bullion is stored. I've heard enough. Let him... If you have no objection, I'll take my money now. What's the matter, Solo? Too big for you to handle? Gentlemen, we must respect Mr. Solo's decision. Please excuse me for a few minutes while I take care of him. Make yourselves comfortable. Who taught you judo? The gun you took. Oh, the gun. The gun, of course. We must have a few fast falls together sometime.